Hey everybody, hey everybody. How do you like these big glasses, huh, huh, huh? Need a shave? Oh, man, I need to shave. I am not getting any better looking. Jesus. Here comes my break. Here comes my break in the traffic. I want to go, I want to go home. I want to get away from the store. I just came back. I just got out of the Fred Meyer store where there were two other guys looking at Hot Wheels. Actually, there were two other guys looking at the Hot Wheels in both stores that I went to. But the most current cases are really bad. They're really bad. They're really, really bad. Anyway, I picked up, I did pick up one thing. It was pretty cool. I'll show you here in just a minute. So this is going to be a new Hot Wheels blister ripping video for you. So let's get started right now. Yes. Let's get started. We're looking at some new Hot Wheels. I was uh, out of town this weekend in uh, Forest Grove, Oregon. Stopped at the Buy Mart where I found two cases sitting there uh, nearly unopened. Uh, somebody might have been in them. It didn't really look like it. And out of that case, I pulled a couple of cars. One was this Fangula. Now, I don't really collect the Fangula, but man, oh man, look how cool this thing is. This thing is so way very cool. Let me get the lighting up here, let me move my mocha over here. Get the lighting up on this thing. Let's see, is that better? Move the camera back, there we go. Fangula is so pretty. And I know somebody who collects these and they've actually made this car in a whole bunch of different color variations. It is so cool. They really took their time and did some good work on this model. I just love that model. Now, I'm not gonna open that one. I'm gonna save that for someone else who likes it more than I do. So set that aside. Also at that same store, it was a Bimart store out in Forest Grove, I did find the new yellow uh, Chevelle SS with the red uh, stripes on the tires, or red chrome actually. Let's go ahead and open up a couple of these and take a look and see what we've got. Okay, what do we got? We got a little silver spot on the hood there. It looks like a leftover chrome bit. And uh, there it is, the yellow Chevelle SS. Full rate 96, good looking car. Definitely a good looking car, so I'll have to keep that one in the old collection. Now, uh, I also, at the same store, picked up this pickup truck, 62 Custom Chevy. Now, if you get a bunch of these different pickup trucks, they look really great together. It's really a neat, neat piece. Look at that. That is a neat one. It's especially neat because my dad had a truck, something like this, back in the day. You never could keep it running, though. You know, back in the day, trucks, cars had those chokes on them that you just never could get to work properly anyway here's a hot wheels hot truck now i do love this hot truck and i think i have one of these open already let me see i see one of these here hang on and i had another one over there let's compare see which one we want to open now there's a little difference oh look at that there is some difference between the two probably not intentional this one over here is sort of glossy this one over here is more of a flat color so i think i'm going to open the flat one save the glossy one for someone else here it is, all right. Now the cool thing about this truck is I do love it. The first one that came out was like red with flames and it looked really fantastic. This one's really cool. Now I was at the store this morning, got a couple of things to show you from this morning, but coolest of all, check this out, da-da. It's that same truck that's supposed to have all these tampos on it. No tampos, no tampos. It completely missed the tampo machine. I think I'm gonna have to leave this one in the package because it's kind of an error. I don't know if I take it out, would that be bad? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave that one in the package for now. I do have this one out. Nice, flat, olive green drab. Very, very cool. Let's see, what else do I've got? I've got some, uh, oh, and I bought a few of these the other day. This is that uh, 67 Pontiac Firebird with no paint on it and a big old motor. Now, this is supposed to look like this fella's car who was a Mattel employee, and I've seen the car. And unfortunately, this doesn't really look like that car. It's similar, but it's just too long. It's Something's wrong with the dimensions. It's just too long in here in particular. Anyway, it's kind of neat, so I'll put that aside. I got a few, a couple of those. Uh, let's see, the other day I went to the store and picked up this guy, the Ford Shelby GTR 350. Now, I don't really like to collect the new Mustangs that much, but this one is nice with the, with the blue with the red stripe. And then another car in that same color is a 17 Acura. 
And that's real cool. That's real pretty. Look at that dark blue. It's just a pretty color. Everybody's going to like that. And then I did have to pick up this for my collection, the 69 Ford Torino Talladega. Not crazy about the flames, but I do love the five-spoke wheels. So I'm going to have to add that to the collection, which is actually growing too large. And here it is in a real life, the Torino Talladega. All right, that's a pretty one. That is a pretty one. Looks better out of the package than in. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's just dust. Just a little dust on there. Not too bad. All right, let's put that one aside. Now, I did pick up some of the 55 Chevys. I saw these yellow ones the other day, and today I saw a group of more of the flat black ones. I don't think I picked up any, though. But here is the new yellow 55 Chevy. And, of course, I am a huge 55 Chevy fan. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Look at that yellow metal flake. Love that. Absolutely gorgeous. 55 Chevy. Wow, what a beauty. What a beauty. Let's see if I picked up one of those flat black ones. Uh, no, 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 no. Nope, but I did pick up some of these. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the street wiener. Ha, ha, hot dog. Let's see. You got the barbecue on the back there. You see that? That's a barbecue back there. Racks on both sides. Green for the pickles and got the hot dog tray. That's a little paper tray in there. And on the front's the flipper. Look at that. You notice that? The front is the flipper. That thing is so cool. I got to give those to the kids. Now, here's something I do collect. I think the guy that I, I know a guy who collects the Fangula, and I think he collects the Bone Shaker, too, which I guess they kind of go good together. But I, I do like the Bone Shaker. It's one of my faves. One of my many faves. You, I know you have many faves, too. Whoa, there it goes. Bone Shaker in the black. Oh, look how nice that looks out of the package. Isn't that, isn't that a beauty? That is a beauty. Big old tires on front and rear. This is actually a car that uh, looks better with these kind of wheels than it would with five spokes, my favorite five spokes. This really does look good on there. So we'll put that in our hot rod section. Let's see what else we got. I did pick up one of these Volkswagens the other day. I haven't seen too many of these around. That's a neat color. That is a neat color. What is that? Urban Outlaw. That's real cool. That's real cool. I also picked up one of these guys here, the Castrol. I think that's, I thought this was an older one. When I saw it in the store, you know, sometimes you see something and you go, oh, that's really cool. And you don't, not sure if you've ever seen it before or not. Let's go ahead and pop that one. Let's pop it. There it is. Castrol 12. What is that thing? Anyway, 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Pretty darn cool. Got the big lights on the front. That's a nice piece. Yeah, that's real nice. Put that in the rally car section. The rally car section. Here's another pickup truck. Not sure I have the Blue Express pickup. I do like the pickups. We'll have to go over the pickups one of these days. One of the many videos yet to be shot around here at the Toy Car Collector. Here it is, the Express. 1978 Dodge Little Red Express truck. That's really neat. It really is neat. That is super neat. Yeah, I like this. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see what else we got in here. Let me pause for a sec. Here's another neat one just came out, I think. Volkswagen Beetle. Look at that big old motor on there. And look, that motor is actually made out of metal. It looks like metal from here. Wow. Plastic base. I don't know what the body's made of, but that motor is a big old piece of metal. That's cool. That is cool. That is cool. That's probably better in the pack than out. And this one I got for one of my nephews, the Taco, El Segundo Taco Truck. This is really cool. And there's a guy, I think, standing on the other side. It might be a taco standing on the other side. I don't know. A lot of neat uh, work went into uh, making the tampo on that one. That is pretty darn cool. I know the kids are going to love that one. And then my favorite one today, I think, has got to be this. The Porsche Outlaw. Now, it's come in black. It's come in silver, I believe. But this like turquoise or teal or whatever heck color this is this looks gorgeous and the package and everything is just so beautiful you can't help but collect hot wheels they are so darn darn beautiful let's get this baby out of this package and see what she looks like in hand which is my favorite place for a hot wheels in my hand let's see get her out of there all right come on come on oh yeah oh yeah wow look at that that is gorgeous you know, all Hot Wheels could look this great. They really could. I guess they do all in their own way look really nice. But, you know, as an adult, I do like the ones that look more like cars. I think most of the kids like them that way, too. I don't know. We'll find out. But this one says 50 on it. I wonder if that has anything to do with the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. What does it say down there? I don't think so. Maybe it 
Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Anyway, that's all for today of new cars opening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What about one more? One more. This one I've been waiting to open up too. Uh, Corvette. Big old Corvette. 69 Corvette. I'm not a real big fan of this one because it's kind of weird. It's got some weird uh, dimensions to it. I like the ones that feel more real. This one is so much bigger than other Hot Wheels. I mean, a Corvette is a big car, but, you know, they just made this one so big. Like, 55 Chevy would be bigger than a Corvette. But it's, in this case, it's a little smaller. But anyway, it's just a kind of a dimensional thing. And anyway, it's a beautiful Corvette in its own right. So we'll go ahead and add that to the collection in the Corvettes. Looks like we got three yellows today. This one's a little too pale, isn't it? They should have kind of riched that one up a little bit more. Get, But I'm sure that one will come out in more colors because there's all these, uh, of course, there's all these flat black ones. I think I've opened up one of these before, but let's go ahead and open up another one. I just love these 55 Chevys so much. They are so cool. Wish I had a 55 Chevy, but oh, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Wow, what's that? Hair on top there? DNA evidence. Wow, that 55 Chevy is a great car. It really is. All right, well, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by and watching, and do check out my website. Now, I don't sell this kind of stuff ordinarily, but I may have to start selling it soon because I'm just getting too many of them. Anyway, thanks for watching this Toy Car Collector signing out for today.